This short demo will describe the Hardy Strepquick system that will assist you in the identification of gram positive cocci that are catalase negative. Here's a list of the organisms that Strepquick can help you with. The best feature of Strepquick is that it takes only 10 minutes to complete. It consists of three reaction wells PYR, LAP, and Esculin. There is only one developing reagent that is needed. Here's how it works. Moisten each of the three reaction circles with a drop of water. Be careful to use only one drop. Inoculate a paste of your test organism on each well. Take your inoculum from colonies that are well isolated and from 18 to 24 hours old. Allow the card to incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes are up, add one drop of chromogenic developer to the first two circles, which are the PYR and LAP tests. Within one minute, observe for a bright pink or cherry red color within the first two circles. This denotes a positive reaction. Any other color would be interpreted as a negative. For the third circle, which is esculin, observe for any darkening of the reaction by no more than 15 minutes. Any development of a gray color would be considered a positive reaction. After you record your results, then look at the identification chart provided with the kit and match up your test results. It's that easy. If leuconostoc or pediococcus is suspected, it is advised to also do a vancomycin susceptibility test. This test is not included with Strepquick. Please be sure to carefully read the technical insert for more information on the procedure. After seeing how easy and fast it is to perform the tests on Hardy Strepquick, we hope you will agree that Strepquick represents the best way to identify your gram-positive catalase-negative cocci. Thanks for your interest.